and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to pause this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and I hope you stick around. So today's video is going to be the first video in this series, and it's my prom series. This one is going to be all drugstore makeup. So my whole face today was created by solely using drugstore makeup products. So yeah, I think it's really nice and wearable, and I feel like you can customize the lip color to your dress. I just feel like this look could suit so many people and skin tones, and I don't know, I just feel like it's wearable, and it's just pretty neutral as well. So, if you want to know how to achieve this beautiful prom makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to prep our skin for makeup today is apply a primer. Primers are a necessity when it comes to wearing makeup for a long period of time, such as proms, weddings, whatever event that you're going to be at for hours and hours on end, you want to make sure you apply a primer to make sure your makeup stays in place throughout the day. So I am obsessed with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Erasing Primer. This smooths out the skin and eliminates the look of pores and it just makes a really nice base for my foundations. So the next thing to go in with is a foundation. For foundations, I have not really tried a whole lot of drugstore foundation, but the ones that I have tried, or the one that I have tried that I am in love with, is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This has excellent coverage. It's medium, and you can build it up to a full coverage. So I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender today. Um, I know it's not a drugstore brush, but I don't really own drugstore brushes. Okay, so now that we have our foundation applied, I'm going to move on to some cream, contouring, and highlighting. I have found a few drugstore products that I have been in love with for cream, contouring, and highlighting. The first thing we're going to do is highlight our face. Um, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes, my chin, my nose, my forehead, as well as right on the jawline and that's going to help clean up our cream contour. This is actually my first time using this concealer, not going to lie. Everyone says it's comparable to the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer or whatever it's called, Radiant Concealer, but I haven't tried that one either. And here's a little trick for some cream contouring. I like to highlight the sides of my nose right over here. That way you have a little bit of a guide on where to put your cream contour. Now that we have our highlight done, I'm going to move on to our contour. So for cream contouring today, I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Stick in Universal. I'm honestly obsessed with this stuff. Um, as you can see, I like, have none of it left, but this is probably the best contour stick from a drugstore that I've ever used. So today I'm going to take that on my Morphe E16 Angled Contour Brush. And instead of applying the product directly on the face, I'm just going to pick it up on the product and apply it to my face just for a little bit more of a precise application and I just want to put it right along the sides of my nose, my cheekbones of course, do a little bit on my chin and then the forehead. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend this out today. So now that we have that all blended out, I'm going to set my face with a powder. The powder that I'm going to use today is my Milani Prep Set and Go Translucent Face Powder. So I'm going to take this on an e.l.f. flat top powder brush and really press this into my skin. This is going to really lock in the face products we applied, make sure it reduces oiliness as well as an HD powder is perfect for photography. So now we're going to move into some powder contouring just to really define the cream contour that we did. So for that I'm going to use my City Color Contour Effects 2 palette. 
you can pick this up online for $9.99 at citycolorcosmetics.com. And if you use my coupon code, which is KC08CC15, you can receive 15% off your total order. So this will become like $8.50, I believe. So go get you some. So today I'm going to be using a mixture of the contour and bronzing shades. And I'm going to take this on my Morphe 405, M405 brush, which is just an angled contour. These powders are very pigmented and you don't need a lot of products. I'm just going to continue on with contouring my chin, jawline. You really want to make sure you go all the way back to your ear, a little bit on the forehead. Now going in with a smaller precise brush and the contour shade, I'm just going to start contouring my nose. So now I'm just going to go quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so the palette that we're going to be using today is the NYC Levotics by Demi. Um, I've already done this side and my eyebrows. I really enjoy how it turned out. The eyeshadows are beautiful. They blend out nicely. They're super pigmented. And this is only like $8. So let, let's jump into it. Taking my Morphe M513 and this kind of camel tan color. I'm going to apply this in my crease today as a transition shade. Just really blend it out, work it into the crease. Next, I'll be going in with my Morphe 514 as well as this kind of cool tone, mid-tone brown. And I'm going to define my crease with this color and just blend it in with the transition shade. So I'm gonna start at my very inner corner and just start working this into the very hollow crease of the eye. Going into my Morphe M507 and this kind of rose gold copper eyeshadow. I'm going to focus this into the crease and outer corner as well. I really like like the pop of rose gold that this eyeshadow gives, just so it's not all brown tones. And you want to take this right into the inner corner, right to the outer corner, and right in the hollow of the crease. Now going in with my Inglot 10S brush and this very dark, deep brown shade that has some golden reflex to it. I'm going to pop this into my outer corner and blend this into the crease as well. Now going in with an oldie but a goodie, it's my Maybelline color tattoo in the shade Barely Branded. And I'm going to apply this all over the lid as a base. So just taking my Mud 300S Small Detail Lid Brush, I'm just going to pack on this color base. Starting right at the inner corner because we want to clean up just the whole lid space and stop right till you get to you know that dark shade in the outer corner now going back into this eyeshadow palette i'm gonna take this pinky champagne eyeshadow all over the lid with a really small detail brush just so i can really pack it on and then going in with the first eyeshadow of the palette which is just a iridescent ivory eyeshadow and popping this right underneath the brow bone. Now with what's ever left on my M507 brush, which was the rosy gold crease color, I'm gonna run this along the lower lash line for a little bit of definition. 
gonna take my elf liquid liner and I'm gonna create a wing so now I'm gonna go in with some fake lashes these are my Ardell soft touch lashes and one number 162 I'm just going to take some lash glue, apply it to the lash band, of course, and just apply these to my eye. So now I'm going to finish up the look with some blush and some highlight, and then we're going to move on to my lips. So for blush today, I'm going to take my Milani blush in Dulce Pink. This is their baked powder blushes. To apply this, I'm going to take my Lexi 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. This will just distribute a light dusting of product on my cheeks. And you just want to apply this right on the apples and slowly start blending it back. And now for highlight, I'm going to take my City Color Highlight Trio in the shade Collection 1. And I'm just going to take this champagne colored highlight and my Morphe E33 Large Fan Brush. And I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. Tip of my nose. Chin. So for lips today, I'm going to take my NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Tea and Cookies. It's just a really nice light pinky nude. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well. Give this video a huge like. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more prom videos. I have a whole prom week going on this week on my Instagram and my YouTube channel. So yeah, um, comment and subscribe. Check out my channel. Check out my other videos. Hit me up on my social media. It's Kiana Karen's XO on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. As well as don't forget to check out my new fitness channel. It is Kiana Karen's XO underscore fit. It is always linked in the description box down below. And yeah, I love you.